But like I say, I did feel like my workouts over the last, we'll just say a couple of months for sake of argument, were slightly improved. Or at least I felt like I had some kind of a boost. Now, when it comes on to the fact about whether I actually did put any muscle on or not... Simon at Bought A-Hole here. Thank you for joining me as always. And today, yes, we are going to talk about the fabled Turk Esterone. I still can't say it properly because I have been using it for the last, I don't know, couple of months. And it's the thing right now, right? Everybody wants to chat about it. So I thought, well, I will try some and then we can chat about it. Now, before we do get into this, I just want to put it out there because I know what people react and what people say. Yes, I'm affiliated with Grilla Mind. You know, more plates, more dates. Derek's smashing it right now. One million subs. Congratulations. So, you know, if you want to say, well, Simon, whatever you're going to say is going going to be absolutely biased because you want us to go and buy this thing, which you can do, grillmind.com for us, Simon, use code Simon to get 10% off. And I totally understand that. Now, you should never trust anybody. And I mean that in a good way. Like, people should earn your trust. You shouldn't just watch any video. And if I say, this is the greatest supplement that I've ever taken, you should take it. You should still go out and do your research. You should watch other videos. And only then should you take the plunge when you're 100% sure that what you're being told is, is accurate, right? And I want to get it out there. So if you think I'm full of BS, good. I respect you. I appreciate you. You keep that up in life. But also, again, make sure you let some people in. Otherwise, you're going to be a sad panda. Now, your first question, if you haven't heard about it before or you've just seen it from afar, is what the hell is this thing to begin with? And I, again, would say go and watch more Plates, More Dates video. Greg Doucette has some very good videos about it as well. But to kind of sum it up generally, it's kind of like a hormonal steroid that is found in plants. It gets characterized as an XD steroid if you want to search for it that way. And basically, it's meant to be comparable testosterone without any of the negative effects that you may get from taking testosterone. Now, the way it does that is that it doesn't bind to your androgen receptors. And I don't want to get into any of this because you'd be like, Simon, you have a basic understanding of this, but you're not very good at telling us which is completely true. But the whole idea behind that is because it isn't going down that pathway within your system, you're able to get a little bit stronger, you're able to have a little bit more energy, and you're going to see results from this thing as if you were taking... I don't know, anabolic, well, not anabolic steroids, but testosterone. If you're taking testosterone, you know, getting a needle, jabbing in your ass, whatever the hell you want to do. Now, do I think it's comparable to that? Absolutely not. And if anybody tells you that it is similar, they're just trying to sell you a product. In no way is this comparable to doing anabolic steroids. It is just not, right? In my opinion, my opinion, but I would say 100% not true, not going to happen. If you take this, you're not going to wake up the next day or six weeks down the line and look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, unless you are Arnold Schwarzenegger, but then you haven't got to worry about it. So really the things that people take this for are increased fat loss, bigger muscles, accelerated recovery, and the prevention of muscle breakdown. It also doesn't require a PCT. And if you don't know what a PCT is, it's called post-cycle therapy. Because of course, if you are going to go down this steroids rate, and my word, please educate yourself before you do anything. You need to turn your hormone or your endocrine system back on. It ain't some magic drug. You can't just take it and knock some other stuff out of whack. So this is where all the USPs come into play. It's like, oh my gosh, you can get all these effects with none of the negative stuff. But that would be absolute baloney, right? But actually, what it will do is that it may give you a 1% to 2% boost in the gym or more, depending on your chemical makeup. So the big question, of course, is should you buy it? Is it worth it? Is it worth your time? Is it worth your money? And I would say it is, but I'm saying this in a very tentative way, because if you are broke and if you have absolutely no money, then all you really still need to do is focus on the basics when it comes to lifting weights, when it comes to bodybuilding, right? Make sure your diet is in check. Make sure you are going to the gym and doing progressive overload and in training intensely. Make sure you're getting recovery in and make sure you're taking other supplements like a multivitamin, omega-3s, maybe a probiotic. If you sort of struggle to get the amount of food down, it gives you a bit of tummy problems. That's always good as well. This is not going to be the answer to all of your dreams. And I just think there are some people out there saying that it is the answer to your dream. And I don't want to be that guy because you're going to go out there, you're going to buy it, then you're going to be disappointed. And what does that do for me? It does absolutely nothing. You go, well, that's Simon. He was talking a bunch of baloney. And I don't like to talk baloney. Now, of course, that's not me crapping on anybody else who said they did have an incredible experience with this because everybody is going to respond to any kind of drug or any kind of supplement differently. Like there are people out there that are on 100% testosterone and they look worse than some people that are on no steroids because again, it all depends on what they're doing and we're never going to know that. But after using it for, I mean, it must have been around about 50 to 60 days. It was definitely over, a, it was about a month and a half, close to two months. Did I notice? any sort of significant changes and I'll get rid of the word significant but did I notice changes I absolutely did I felt a little bit more motivated before I was going to the gym I certainly my lifts went up but again I am always training for progressive overload so that may have happened anyway but I think my favorite thing about it is that I didn't feel as sore 
after the gym as I usually do, right? And again, I don't know 100% if it does come down to this, but it did mean that when it came round to doing round two of back, buys, chest, whatever, did I feel more ready for it than I would have done otherwise? Yes, I did. And I'm hoping that sort of tied into one big mass equation, which meant, okay, I put on a little bit of size here, put on a little bit of weight here. But with that said, is there every chance that it was a placebo effect because I was excited to take a brand new, and like I say, you go out there and you look at it, the cool supplement right now. Of course that could be the case. It's like the first time you take pre-workout, which is a little bit different because obviously pre when the first time you take pre-workout, you're going to get a much bigger boost than the 100th time you've taken it because you get less and less sensitive to it because that's how the how the body handles it. But it's like when I get a new uh, a new diet or a new uh, a workout program from a personal trainer. That first session always feels like a kid at Christmas because like, oh, I've never done this done before. Oh my gosh. Because we're always believing that as soon as we've done that, oh, this is the one. This is the one that's going to turn me into having my dream physique and we've talked that about a thousand times before. But like I say, I did feel like my workouts over the last, we'll just say a couple of months for sake of argument, were slightly improved. Or at least I felt like I had some kind of a boost. Now, when it comes on to the fact about whether I actually did put any muscle on or not, let's be pretty honest about this as well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And do you want to know why I don't know? Because I never know. And I you don't ever know either. Because when you look in the mirror, you see all the bad and somebody has to help tell you about all of the good. So we go back to the scales with this one. And I did put on a few pounds. So over the last, again, let's say six weeks, eight weeks, whatever it was, I put on around about four pounds, which is not a huge amount of weight over a couple of months. In fact, that's actually, you know, kind of a normal thing to do. But let's not forget, could it be water weight? Absolutely. Maybe I ate a big meal. I didn't even think about it. Or maybe I didn't sleep right or something like that. But I did feel more, or in myself, when I was looking at myself, I did feel like I looked more fuller. Now, could that be to the turkey? Testosterone? Absolutely. Could it be down to the fact that maybe I guzzled a bunch of water that day and smashed some creatine? I mean, it could be that as well, but I do get creatine every day. The point is, I didn't introduce anything new when I when I was taking this. So at the end of it, at the end of running whatever, 30 pills, whatever the hell's in there, I was just taking one a day, although it does say you can take more. It's more than that. Yeah, 60 capsules, so almost two months because I've only got a couple left in there. I felt like it was a worthwhile thing to add into my stack. Now, would I take it every single day? Probably not. While I don't think you need to cycle it, I absolutely would probably buy, I'd buy one tub and I'd run it for a couple of months like we did, then I'd stop it for a while. And I think the other reason to do that is, again, one, when you do get something out of your system, it's always going to be more potent when you re do reintroduce it. I mean, that's not the same for every single drug, but there is something to say for that. But also, I think then you'll actually start to know whether it was helping. So I guess you could argue I should have done this video in like three weeks or something, and maybe I will. If I feel massively different, I'll absolutely come back to it, and I will tell you, I will tell you how I feel. But the way I would sum it up is, if you are very lucky in this life to have a little bit of spare change, and you are looking for something, again, just to give you the tiniest boost in the gym, I absolutely would recommend it. Again, cheap plug. Yes, you know, to be completely transparent, you can use my code. Again, link in the description and that will get you 10% off. But I don't want anybody to think that this is some kind of, of miracle drug because it's not, right? It's just there's so many other things that you probably want to take. For example, let's say that you are going to the gym and you haven't introduced creatine yet. You want to be smashing creatine before you're smashing this, right? I don't want to call it a vanity supplement because I think that's a little bit too much. Like, what was that drug you, uh, supplement you used to be able to get? It's by BSN. And what it essentially did is you could take it and it just gave you a massive pump. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that's what I had to do. But the tablets were huge. It's like ones you have to shove up your ass and they cost an absolute fortune. But again, if you could afford that and you want to walk around looking pumped all the time, you absolutely could purchase this. And while I actually think you get more, again, gains, but limited gains with this, it is still not something that you absolutely have to add in if it's going to mean that you you know, you know, have no money. You'd be better off taking that funds that you do have and putting it on food. Because especially over here in the UK at the moment, food prices are going through the roof and food was expensive anyway, especially when you're bodybuilding because you're buying fresh meat and fresh fierce and you know all of this kind of stuff and they're always the things that see a price inflation as soon as food goes up i did enjoy taking it i did feel like it put a little extra spruce in 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 my step so i mean that's all i can tell you right i, I don't want to give you any bs i don't want to spin you a lie i don't want to do any of that kind of stuff i just want to walk you through my experience which is exactly what this was and hey i tell you what a great thing to do is i'll do this i'll, I'll flex for you right now i'm not i flex on any videos go back and watch my videos from what we're in we're in early december so october october go look at my videos in early october October, maybe. And then look, and if you think I look worse, don't do it. <laughs> it probably has nothing to do with that. But that's the point, right? And now you're probably saying, oh, Simon, why didn't you take a before and after pic? Because I have many, many problems. <laughs> that's why. And I didn't really fancy kind of just pasting myself all over the internet uh, with my top off, which kind of goes to show that I'm a very weird fitness influencer. But hey, I think we all go through things like that with our mental opinion of ourselves. And unfortunately, it just happened, happened to tie into this. So yes, for everyone that messaged me asking me about, like, would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it for the people that can afford it. And please, I'm going to repeat myself over and over 
over again. Go in with reasonable expectations. It is not a steroid. It is not a super drug. It is just something that may make you feel a little bit more spruce in the gym and may sort of get you over a little bit of a hurdle that you could have been struggling with. For example, if you've just started at the gym, should you be taking this? No, no. I don't think it's going to hinder any of your games down the line, but you have so much, it's not not natural, but you have so much potential to grow without putting anything in your system. Do you do that first? Exhaust that, exhaust that first. Hit a plateau, hit a wall, and then start going, okay, you know, well, what do I need to add in? And then we've already talked about other stuff that you can do. But uh, I'm a fan of it. Uh, will I run it again? Most probably, yes. And maybe that time I'll try and document my stats and my weight and my visual appearance a little bit more. But that's just my thoughts on it. A lot of people ask for it, so I wanted to do it. Again, I would check out Greg Doucette's videos, and I would check out more plates, more dates, his video. But also, I would go out there and I'd read as much as you possibly could. Like I said at the start of this video, make sure that you are 100% happy with your decision before you do it. And in that case, if it doesn't work for you, which can be a thing, there are hardcore drugs you can buy that may not help you because you're you and you're not somebody else, but you're not going to be disappointed. And it's not going to feel like your birthday and your parents didn't get you a Christmas present, which doesn't make any sense. Why would you get a Christmas present on your birthday? I got those two things mixed up. So yes, that are my, that's my thoughts on Turk Esterone. I know a lot of people are saying that it should be banned. I mean, I, I don't think it should be banned. I think you should just be able to, you know, make a smart choice. I mean, maybe it should be banned in competitive sports. I don't know. I haven't looked into it in that sense. But just, and also I want to say, just because I didn't experience any side effects with it doesn't mean that you won't, right? You may take it in a week. You may feel absolutely terrible. And if it is the case, dump it, drop it, right? Sometimes it stands to reason, right? If, it's look, if something's looking at you right in the face, something is looking at you right in the face. It's not a joke. If you add anything into your you know, usual, your usual daily routine. And in seven to 40, I'd say probably two weeks. And in 14 days, you start to feel absolute crap. It's going to be that thing that you just introduced. So many people don't like to do that because they think, oh no, I've got to keep with it because I'm going to see these super gains. It's just not worth it. Health and fitness, the most important part of that sentence is the word health. Make sure you stick with that. I'm not really sure if that was helpful or not. It's basically me ranting and raving, but that's, there's not that much to say about it. If I'm completely honest, I think it's a cool little thing. I think it's great that it's out there. It seems more readily available than it was a few months ago. And that was stressing some people out so that's nice too give it a whirl if you can afford it and if not don't ever think about it again and go give somebody a hug because at least you know that will make you feel nice now please do like the video share the video and subscribe to the bell ding ding so you know what other videos are going live there is another video on the screen please do give it a click patreon.com for simon316 if you want to support that way simon316 on instagram and twitter simon.bigcartel.com for merch what else do i do i don't even know i mean obviously we've got the greg Doucette power 13 cookbook and grillamind.com for simon just go simon get 10 percent off if you know if you have anything i've said during this video you think, oh, wow, great. Again, you can get money off and take me at my word, right? As I've already said. And I'm on Cameo. If you want me to shout at you and wish you a happy birthday, happy Hanukkah, happy Mitzvah, I don't know what's going on with you. Happy Kwanzaa. I'd be happy to do it. Otherwise, you take care and I'll talk to you again soon.